welcome friends welcome to my youtube channel and based on my videos on detailing of piping connections which i did it for pumps earlier and you must have seen it and got value out of it the next equipment which i am going to talk about is air handling units again a lot of pipings and a lot of elements in that piping for air handling unit so we have seen how the good installation of practices in my piping video I request you to once again go back and check those because that will also add value. And today we are going to be specific to the air handling unit. So let's look at this. So welcome once again. Air handling unit you must have seen. You know there are uh, units which are load mounted units which is there in front of you in picture, and there are units which are ceiling suspended units. The piping connections more or less remain same. Let's dwell into the piping connections and. Before we get into the exact piping connection, I just wanted to show you what are the elements which are required or what are the parts we are required to connect AHUs within the piping. So, first thing itself is the air and units. This is how it looks. Now, then we have butterfly wall which takes care of or the purpose of having butterfly wall is to have isolation of the units from the other set of piping. Then we have wise tenor again to take out the dirt and particles from the from the pipes, and that's the use of wise tenors. Then we have flexible connections. These are flexible bellows to avoid anything, any vibration coming out of the air units to the pipes and again to the structure or the building, and that's the purpose of it. We have thermometer to check the temperatures of in and out of the piping, and we'll see a little later how it works. Control walls. Now there are a lot of walls which are available, but uh, I gave one of the walls here. We generally use a pressure independent and control wall. Pressure gauges to measure the pressure. Test points to have anything else. You now if you have pipe size which is lower than 50 mm, it is difficult to insert the thermometer. So pressure these test points can be used to check any parameters. Ball walls again. These are the type of isolation walls, and let us see how they are used. This is how the piping connection looks, you know. And let's look at this is air handling units. Let's look at from the chilled water inlet side. We have isolation wall. This is butterfly wall. Then we have wire stainers. The purpose I said to remove the particles or dirt from the, the water. Then we have pressure gauge to see what is the pressure in this line. Then we have temperature gauge again to see what is the temperature of water coming in. And as I said, test points are given. This can be used for your BMS uh, related uh, you know points this can be used if you are not able to put the pressure gauge or thermometer you can use this you can then have a separate thermometer just plug in and get to know what is the pressure gauge so this is an added thing you can add and then as I said then as I said flexible bellows to avoid vibration coming from the CHU to these pipes then we have ball wall now the important of ball wall here is to have purging the Air purging can be done through this wall. So, if you have water and there is air, you can just open out and take out the air so that we can see the pipes coming into the unit is without any air. This HU is connected to the MS pipe and the copper coil of the unit through a dielectric coupling, and that's why dielectric coupling is important. Similarly, when you go to chill water out from the HU, we have dielectric coupling, then we have ball wall. The purpose of ball wall over here is to help in draining the water in case of any shutdown or any maintenance work. So that's why this ball wall is here. Then we have the flexible bellows, a test point, temperature gauge, pressure gauge and this is a control wall. Control wall can be your two way wall, control wall can be energy wall, control wall can be your pressure independent balancing control wall. So this is based on your specification you can use it and then we isolate this A unit with the butterfly wall. So this is in nutshell the piping connection for HUs. Uh, look at this is a unit over here. This is a ceiling suspended unit. You can see it. You can see a purge wall over here. You can see a drain wall over here. You can see a dielectric coupling over here. You can see flexible bellows over here. This is a control wall and the isolations were just apart from uh, this picture. But this is how the piping connection looks. Actual picture. This will relate to you what I said before and now. I end this presentation with this note quality is always the result of excellent work without compromise thank you very much for your patient listening and before 
I close this presentation. I request you to follow me on YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, ajazkazi.com. I am available on these platforms. And two more announcements. One is on my course on project risk management, which is available on Udemy. Very, very affordable cost. You will get a lot of value out of this course. And secondly, I also devised a digital course on project management importance, which is available on this link. Course starts with the basics, the terminologies, the issues which we have in our industry while doing the projects, and how do we integrate the projects. So, the basic awareness, the basic course is given here. The ones who want to get into this nation building stream of project management and do a better job, I think this course will be extremely valuable for you. The ones who are already there in the project management field and they are just doing a firefighting on daily basis, this course again is valuable for you and you can get a lot of value out of it. The description of both these courses, the project risk management and the project management importance, in the description you can find the links for both of these courses. You can just click and get on to these courses and I am available anytime to resolve your queries. Thank you very much for your patience.